Hello, and welcome to the first installation of Unpunditry. So turn off your PlayStations, put the kids to bed. We're talking all things Premier League. I'm Lucas, your host, and with me is Stuart. Say hi. Hello. Cool. But this is a show where we review and preview each week of the Premier League. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. Um, we're going to review the quick review of the first five weeks of the Premier League. It's been extremely unpredictable. Um, and there's no real clear trend in strength at the moment, but that's to be expected at the early parts of the season. Um, quick notes that Aston Villa are with their 100% record. Um, they just survived relegation last year. No one really expected them to be this good at the moment. And I believe they have the only 100% record in the top five European leagues. Um, yeah, Stuart, anything to add? Aston Villa looking unbeatable. At the moment, don't really see many teams beating them. Liverpool, don't see it. Everton, don't see it. I reckon they're playing Champions League this year, boys. It's a big call. It's a big call. Okay, well, let's get straight into it. The first game of this game week, we've got Aston Villa versus Leeds. And I think it's pretty obvious to say and to think that Aston Villa would run away with this one. Um, uh, McGinn's looking great. Um, Barkley's coming into form. And, of course, Jack Rulish leading the team. Um and Leeds, I don't think that they'll have the firepower. They've been a bit inconsistent this year so far, although um, they have shown glimpses, especially against Liverpool in the first game. Uh, Marco Bielsa has had a lot of pl- uh, praise sorry, uh, from the way his team plays. Um, but with this one, I think Villa are going to come through. I think they're going to win 2-0. I've got your three-leg same-game multi for you for this game. Aston Villa win. Both teams to score. I've gone no. Aston Villa holding another clean sheet. And Ollie Watkins to have two or more shots on target. That will get you a nice return of $14.25. So next one, we've got West Ham versus Manchester City. And this could be a little bit more difficult to predict. Um, West Ham uh, had a great last 15, 20 minutes against Spurs. Um, of course, Lansing has got that worldy. Um Man City have a few people coming back. Aguero, he did play well last week, but they also have a lot of outs as well. Um, it's no- noticeable to see uh, Suchek and Kufal, I think, the Czech Republic duo of West Ham, um, linking up well, and they do have uh, some good players in the team that can do damage. Um, I still think, even though City have a lot of people out, that the depth in their squad will be enough to win. Um, I think they're going to win 3-1. Your three leg same game multi. I don't think City could will win this. I think it's a draw, so I'm going to leave that out. Raheem Sterling backs up, scores two goals in two games. I reckon he's an anytime goal scorer. Jared Bowen on the right wing to have one or more shot on target and both teams to score. Six dollars twenty five return. The next one on the agenda is uh, Fulham versus Crystal Palace. Um, Fulham just recently uh, had the acquisition of Ruben Loftus-Cheek, who could be good in the midfield. Um, also, uh, Lukman is coming in good form. A lot of hype around him. Um, it could cause some trouble, but Crystal Palace do have a strong defence, even though I believe um, that they have conceded a lot of goals. I still believe that they are good in defence. Um, and Gaeta is probably the most underrated goalkeeper in the Premier League at the moment, for me at least. Um, I think because of that, I think Palace are going to hold Newcastle and I think they're going to win 2-0. Fulham win this. So I put them in this three-leg same-game multi. Fulham win. Both teams to score, yes. Fulham problem is that they have a really cracks defence, but Mitrovic is putting shots in there. So I reckon he'll also have two or more shots on target, getting you a nice little return of $9.75. This game could really go either way. Um, so the next game, probably arguably the biggest game of the week, is Manchester United versus Chelsea. Um, both teams yet to click and find their form within the league. Um, a lot of new acquisitions, and a recent one from United was Alex Tejas. Um, we saw him in the Champions League, he played well. I think he will start ahead of Luke Shaw, and they might also play alongside each other, with Luke Shaw just dropping in behind. Um, also, Rashford, Rashford sorry, is... Um, coming into good form, and a lot of people are comparing his stats to Cristiano Ronaldo, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. Um, he's a good player, but he's not that good. Um, 
I'm thinking going to Chelsea 3 2 this game. I just think they have a lot more firepower. This is going to be an all attack, no defense type of game, but this three leg same game multi, big boys coming to play. I'm going to go with the draw. Over two and a half goals and Marcus Rashford to back up his goal against PSG. He'll score again tomorrow with a nice little return of $18.50. However, with the power play, $20.50. It's a big one there. The next one, uh, we've got Liverpool versus Sheffield. And it's going to be very interesting without Van Dijk. Um, I think we're going to see the same formation and the same players that Liverpool put out in the Champions League. Um, I think it's going to be Gomez and Fabinho. I think that's what the Jurgen Klopp prefers. Um, the question is, will Sheffield be able to break that incredibly high line that Liverpool have? Um, we've seen it exposed multiple times. Sheffield have only managed to score one goal this season. Um, I don't think McGoldrick's good enough. I think he's a champions, championship player. Um, I just can't see Sheffield scoring, really. Um, and Liverpool will just overpower them. Um, I think it's going to be 3-0 to Liverpool. Three-leg, same game multi right here. This one's your safer bet. Can't really see this one losing. Liverpool win. Liverpool to have six or more shots on target against a horrible Sheffield defence that pushes a very high up with Ender Stevens and George Baldock. And a goal scored in both halves coming at a nice, really respectable $2.15. It's pretty good bet. Uh, the next one, we've got Southampton versus Everton. Um, I think most people have underestimated Southampton this year. I think their strike force of Trey Adams and Danny Ings is a real threat to teams. Um, Everton are on a high. Um, I think they're going to continue that. Um, Hamez is in doubt, though, and Hamez has been their main source of creativity this season. Um, also, Richarlison did receive a red card last week. And I think your mate, Stuart, Alex Awobi, is going to start. I'm not sure if he's going to do anything. I don't think he will. He's a good player, but I don't think he's at that level that Everton need right now. Um, I think Dominic Cavalier will continue his hot form, um, and this game could go either way again. Um, but I'm going to go Everton to pip it 2-1. Huge one now. Huge three-leg same game multi. Everton are winning this. Danny Ings, the new DDA Drogba, is having two or more shots on target. And the boy, $32 million man, Arsenal legend, Alex Awobi, to have one shot on target, trying to replace Rakalison in that front three. This will give you a return of $29. It's a big bet on Alex Awobi. It's a lot of faith you put in him. Huge. He will do well tomorrow. That is one of the safer legs of that. I'm hoping so. For your sake, it's true. Uh, the next game, we've got Wolves versus Newcastle. Um, again... I think it's going to go anyway. I think Wolves are a slightly stronger team right now. Um, Neto's firing. Um, I think Newcastle haven't really uh, shown a lot. They haven't really been noticed this much in the Premier League. Um, maybe that's down to the way they play, the way their manager's setting them up. Um, but they do look good on paper. Their team does look good on paper. And Darlo and Goals did have a good game against United. Even though they, they did score four goals, he is a good goalkeeper. Um, this one is going to be tight. I'm going to go with Wolves 1-0. Three-leg, same game multi. Once again, I don't think that this will be much of a goal fest. I've gone under two and a half goals. I've got Ralph Jimenez to score. And I have a nice cheeky one, Romain Sice, to be booked. Now, why did I go with this after he has not had a yellow card all season? I just think that he's going to eventually get a yellow card. This is paying $18.25. I needed a third leg. I put that in there. That's a good one. That's a big one. Big return. Um, so, uh, the next game, we've got Arsenal versus Leicester. I think this is going to be really interesting this week. Um, as both teams have really relied on their counter-attacking ability, um, I think Thomas Partey needs to start. I think Arsenal need a different dimension in their midfield. I think it's too um, blasé and a bit boring with Shaka and Elneny. I think they need someone to break up the play um, and a bit of intimidation factor. Um, I think Vardy, correct me, Stuart, is Vardy out this week or is in doubt? I think he is in doubt. He did not play this morning. He and Nacho played this morning. Okay, so with Vardy being out, um, I can't really see a lot of goal threat. Um, I think Leicester will sit back for most of the game. I think Arsenal will be take the play. Um, also, no Soyuncu as well uh, for Leicester. I think 
that Arsenal will pick this one. Um, I'm going to go 2-1. Three legs, same game, multi right here. Leicester's defence cracks. I've got both teams to score. Aubameyang to score one. He has been in terrible form, however, did score this morning against someone. <laughs> and Arsenal to win this. That will get you $4.50 return. And the second last game of the week, we've got Brighton versus West Brom. I rate, uh, I rate Brighton very highly. I think I love watching their play. Graham Potter is a great manager. Um, I think I think they're sitting in the 16th at the moment. Uh, haven't done too well in terms of results, but they have played United. They have played Chelsea. Um, they've had some tough tough fixtures and a lot of decisions going against them. I think Neil Morkai has a really good opportunity to increase his goals this week. Um, and West Brom, I think, are probably tipped to go down this year. Um, they're relying heavily on Diangana and Mateus Pereira for a bit of individual brilliance in most games. Um, although they have been playing well, I feel like Brighton is the stronger team and will win at home. Um, I'm going to go with Brighton 2 now. You want a multi? Here it is. Neil Malpai being referred to as the next DDA Drogba. He is to have two or more shots on target. I reckon both teams will score an over 10 number of corners. Brighton play very wide, Lamptey up on the wing, Sully March as well. I reckon there are going to be a few corners. I reckon this is pretty safe. And the last game of the week, we've got Burnley versus Tottenham. Um, Tottenham, they look incredible, don't they, with Kane and Son up front. Um, Son, for me, is the best player in the league right now. I think he's unplayable. And Kane is up there as well. Um, it's a shame that Jose Mourinho labelled them as weak last week and they were lazy in the press. Um, Burnley haven't caused too many problems. Uh, Dwight McNeil, I rate as a player, can really swing those balls into their forwards. Uh, I think Chris Wood... Is Chris Wood still at the club? I don't even know, Stuart. Yes, he is. He is. Great. Um, I don't think Tottenham will have too much of a problem this week. I think they need to not start Aurier, and I think they need to put Doherty in there, uh, just for that more reassurance at the back. Um, I'm going Spurs 4-0. Three-leg, same game multi, the last one of the round. You want money, here it is. Tottenham to win over two and a half goals, and Sun, any time goal scorer. I'd put another leg in there, maybe Kane, any time goal scorer. I don't see anyone else in Tottenham really scoring. Power play that goes up to $4.35, but if you don't want to waste that, Nice $4 return. Well, that's the preview for this week. Uh, please gamble responsibly. Um, Stuart does a good job of uh, putting on well-hypothesized bets. Um, we'll be back next week uh, when we review the most recent game week. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed And we'll see if the bets did or did not come off. Yes. I reckon they all will. I reckon you could even probably combine all of them into one whole multi. It's that well. much of a sure bet. You might as well. I mean, with the amount of views and credit that we get, you know.